An adjunct professor at Montclair State University, Dan Geltrude. Dan, so while prices have declined, so-called core prices, which excludes food and energy costs, increased to 2.7 percent higher, of course, than what the Fed was hoping for. Dan, you know, of course, the election, you know, just a few days away. What does this reading mean for the Biden-Harris economy? Well, I think it's all too little, too late. When people are looking at inflation, they're really focused in on the cumulative impact. Where were we four years ago? Where are we now? And of course, prices are significantly up across the board. So I don't believe that this is going to have any impact on the election because people have already made up their mind mm. based upon the pain that they're feeling. It's as simple as that. <laughs> and like Trump says every single time, are you better off now than you were four years ago? Um, okay, so Amazon beating out Wall Street expectations with growth in cloud computing and advertising businesses, allowing the company to amass over a whopping $158 billion. The company earned about $143 per share as opposed to the expected $1.14 projected. All right, Dan, holiday season's coming up. A lot of people do their shopping on Amazon. But then, you know, we've talked this week about how places like Target, Walmart, a lot of the other stores are doing these massive sales for the holiday season. Do you think Amazon will be able to keep up all of this momentum? Well, I, definitely, right? Because Amazon is about convenience. People don't want to deal with the crowds and the mm. traffic. So it's so simple just to go to Amazon. And, and Amazon as a company, just keep this in mind, they are not just about retail sales. They are really expanding their web and their cl cloud businesses. And that's why Amazon continues its dominance in everything that they touch. So this holiday season, no doubt about the fact Amazon will likely do very, very well. <sighs> Amazon, I probably put in like two orders a day on Amazon. It's too convenient. <laughs> uh, so Comcast saying it's considering breaking up its cable network's business. Now, the separation would not affect the broadcast network NBC or its streaming service, which is called Peacock, but rather its long line of channels, which includes Sci-Fi, E, Bravo, MSNBC, and CNBC. Comcast is exploring the option as Americans kind of are really turning away from traditional cable bundle options and turn to various streaming services. Dan, do you think this plan will work? I'm kind of over the endless streaming services. <laughs> Well, this to me is really about giving customers what they want. And these cable packages and bundling, although it's it's meant to save dollars, it's still really, really expensive. Mm -hmm. And the truth of the matter is, is that the streaming is more cost effective, particularly when you're picking and choosing what you want to watch. You're not necessarily stuck with as part of these bundles uh, a lot of a lot of uh, stations that you don't want to watch. So I, I think it's a step in the right direction. If people, if companies are not going to give people what they want, then they're just going to go elsewhere. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I just feel like it's so difficult. You know, you've got to sign up on this one to get that channel. And you want to watch this sports game. You got to sign up to this one. I just feel like it's just become a burden on the American people to constantly have to turn to so many different bundles and services. But uh, let's talk a little Starbucks. So they're trying to return to the roots. And the plan is going to require hundreds of thousands of Sharpies. So the company CEO says the massive marker, pur marker purchase is to reintroduce the hand-touched experience of having your name and order written onto the up. Okay, Dan, so just last week, uh, last Wednesday, Starbucks actually reported that their shares had dropped. Reportedly, they're not doing that great. Do you think that the Sharpie experience is going to be the thing that drives customers back? I don't, I don't think, it may be a nice personal touch, <laughs> but I don't think customers per se really care about their cups being written on with Sharpies, I'll tell you what they care about. They care about how expensive mm. Starbucks is. I mean, the pricing to me is simply ridiculous. So although, you know, Starbucks has a very, very loyal following, you just get to that point of no return where it's simply too expensive and people find substitutes. Maybe it's not as good or it's not their favorite, yeah. but ultimately it always comes down to this, like with elections, People move with their pocketbooks. It is just too expensive. I make my coffee at home with some ground coffee, and it saves you so much money. Dan Geltrude, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Have a great weekend. Thanks, Alex.